Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Saturday, kind of, <laughs> um, here on Vegan Perspective, and my lip ring things have come out, and I have yet to replace them. I lost one of them today, but I found it in the car, and it was somehow on the floor. I guess it bounced off me and rolled into the floor or something, but anyway. So, that was crisis avoided. Um, this week on Pagan Perspective, we are talking about um, special people with psychic abilities and what they could be called. Um, psychic abilities, magic abilities, crazy different abilities, just whatever. Um, this is something that I don't really feel like I have too much to t discuss about, but um, I was just going to kind of add a question to this that was, why does it matter? Why does it matter what you call yourself? Um, with some people, they just kind of want to discover what they are because they feel humanly different than just the average person, I guess. And um, so they just want to figure out what they are so that they can kind of dive deeper into the topic of what they are and they can grow and learn and develop these abilities and grow and learn as a person. But um, I feel like a lot of people are almost wishing that they had a title that felt special and unique to them, and I'm not saying this. people who asked this question were like this at all, but I'm just saying don't stress out too much about having a title of what you are, or having a title of what something is that you can do, or anything like that. Um, the, the people who asked this question were saying something along the lines of their family members were extremely gifted, um, they were very, very psychic, and anything that they thought or said would come into manifestation and things like that, and they were asking if they were a crystal child, um, the crystal children, or if they were like a, a born witch, or different things like that, and they were basically saying, what is she? What is what is she? She's not human. She, what is she? But, um, first off, these kind of people could just be humans. They could just be average people, like you and me, you know? And that doesn't, I mean, they might have this talent, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they're special enough to the point that, like, they need to give themselves a whole new name to call themselves, I guess. Um, and not saying, what I'm trying to say also is that having a name doesn't make you any special or not special. Um, and not having a name doesn't make you any special or not special. So, having a name, unless it's going to help guide you and ground you in whatever it is that you're trying to study and explore so that you can grow your abilities and learn more about yourself, if it's not going to do any of that, then it's not really important and you don't need to be worrying about it. And if it is, then hopefully it's going to be something that's going to come to you in time anyway. And it'll be just delivered to you via psychic messaging um, from the gods and goddess and the universe or whatever that you pray to. So, don't really focus on having a name or not having a name. Just enjoy the talents that the god and goddess have given you. I guess it's kind of like I don't know what to call myself in the field of art, because I do drawing, I like doing hands crafty stuff like sculpting different things or making arts and craft type material, and then I do digital art and I do photography and I just do all these different things, so I end up just kind of calling myself an artist. And it's also like whenever different psychics can, they eventually start off with one talent, but they multiply their talents and they become clairvoyant, clairaudient, and they can become mediums, and they can grow to become psychometrists to where they can touch something and read the energy of that something and find out whose it was and what it does and all those kinds of people that you see helping cops and crime investigations and such. Um, but those people would eventually just kind of call themselves psychic because it's a broad enough term and they're like, I don't really know what to call myself. So, I don't, I don't understand why psychic is a good enough term for these people, but if you do want a term, but yeah, that's, I guess, all my rant about it. I'll stop ranting. I feel like I'm rambling, but yeah. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.